Hey everybody, welcome back to continuation of uh, this Mustang build. Um, so today, we're going to try to figure out how we're going to mount the front suspension to this. Um, I have made a new jig here to uh, kind of show what we have going on. We have the stock frame our frame and of course the new section of the frame um, it is off centered I just kind of got it stuck here wrong so ignore that for now here we'll fix it so if you OCD guys don't yell at me um, but we got the front end we're using the uh, 2013 Mustang suspension um, and I know this thing uses a like pin system um, on the front suspension so please ignore my dirty painted hands um, but it uses these pins here um, to mount on and that's what we're going to try to figure out um, is how we're actually going to mount this now on this round tubing so get this thing flipped over and I have the same marks transferred around the tube there Let me pop these off my makeshift pins I made so looks like we're gonna be pretty good you can see here once we get this centered where it should be um, it looks like the pins in the rear are going to line up with our tube frame. Was not expecting that. But let's take a look here. Um, the pins don't quite line up, if you can see in there. Um, but these notches here do. Um, so let's get those out of there. help us get this on and it looks like those pins are going to be our guide to keep this from going from side to side so it looks like the only thing we really need to do and figure out are these back pins and where they line up I thinking we can get this to stay so those center. So what we'll do is we'll take our nice little pencil and we'll get this marked. It looks like all we need to do is drill a hole in this tubing where I made that mark. <clears throat> so let me get this uh, drilled and everything and I'll show you how this looks. Alright guys, so there she is, the underside of that, <clears throat> excuse me. You can see on the top, I added just a straight bar to show you that uh, we lined up perfectly side to side and everything else. So that's beautifully lined up. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. But we still have a couple other components that need to get mounted in here. Um, we'll pull them out of here. That one and sway bar. So we want to make sure we have plenty of clearance here. Get this down here. Um, the sway bar just fits 
in here. If I can find the holes. So, we're not sway bar. Rack and pinion fit right in there. Everything's going to line up really well. And see if I can find the sway bar in the direction. I guess I should have this ready. Sway bar is going to mount. right off that front cross member it mounts up here on the camera is having a hard time focus today there are you guys yelling at me so it will mount right there on that bar so we'll be pretty good there so everything on the front end is going to line up um, the motor I believe we did this right will sit right there so we're gonna have to cut this cross member that center cross member out to get the motor to sit where it should so everything else on the front end um, is lining up pretty well I'm really happy with that we'll put that pin back in Wherever the other one went, I have no idea. I'll make one real quick. Alrighty, we're actually starting to look like a car. Let's grab the rear axle. We know where that mounts. We have all the marks for that. So now we're actually starting to look like a chassis. Um, the next thing is actually going to be putting the fender flares and stuff. And if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you guys know that I've already done that. Um, Throw this in here. We'll give you guys a glimpse. You can get the front axle to sit where it should, and the rear axle. This is a little tricky because I'm not quite. There we go. But. <clears throat> I haven't cut out the other side, so hold on a sec. Let's pop these tires off. There we go. That's looking better. But this is what we're kind of looking at. Um, for body mods, everything like that. Um, we're really, really getting excited about this build. Um, it's starting to really, really start to look like something and turn out really well. But until next time, guys, this is Dragon Speed Shop. I'm getting out of here.